Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is Civilization. So it's uh, Civ 5 with the, the Gods and Kings expansion. And uh, this is something I've been thinking about Let's Playing for a long time now. I always want to do a Civilization 5 Let's Play, and um, well, now we have the Gods and Kings expansion. And the Gods and Kings expansion has the Netherlands as a playable race, and I uh, will be playing as that. We'll have him here. It's, here's Willem. Uh, William the Netherlands, of the Netherlands with the Dutch East India Company or the, the Oost Indische Company. That's it, right? Yeah. And uh, he has some bonuses. He has a boat. He can create a polder. <laughs> and we're going to create some polders. That's the plan. And um, well, let's start playing some civilization. And let's start with an advanced setup. Now, I'll get more on uh, how this game plays when I actually get in game. First, let's do some settings and. I'm keeping this on screen so you can, all your players know what settings I'm playing with. And this was my idea, Ethereum, Terra Map, standard size. Uh, these are all fine. I wanted to have wet rainfall though. It creates more chance of marshes and that's something nice for the Netherlands. And yeah, all these options are fine as well. And also I think since the Netherlands has a relationship with Spain and stuff, and since it started, uh, Isabella should be one of our adversar adversaries. Um, and uh, yeah, let's keep it like this. Oh, also, let's try and turn some victory types on. And let's start the game. Um, yeah, I'll explain more later about what Civ is and how it plays. And But uh, first, let's have uh, the announcer. Or whatever, explain who William is, who, who Willem van Oranje is. Let's go. And, uh, yeah. Hail, stalwart Prince William of Orange, liberator of the Netherlands and hero to the Dutch people. It was your courageous effort in the 1568 rebellion against Spanish dominion that led the Dutch to freedom and ultimately resulted in the Eighty Years' War. Your undertaking allowed for the creation of one of Europe's first modern republics, the Seven United Provinces. You gave your life to the rebellion, falling at the hands of an assassin in 1584. But your death would only serve to embolden the people's charge, and your legacy as father of the fatherland will stand as a symbol of Dutch independence for all time. Brave Prince, the people again yearn for the wise stewardship your wisdom afforded them. Can you once again secure the sovereignty of your kingdom and lead your people to greatness? Can you build a civilization that stands the test of time? Can you build a civilization that stands the test of time? That's uh, what this game is all about and uh, well, let's see. Although one note, I, I want to start near the sea. The Netherlands was a, a seafaring empire, and yeah, the special unit that I have is a boat and a boulder, so there should be sea near, and there should be marshes or floodplains near. Let's see if we have that. No. No, we do not. And that's a bit of a terrible start, especially for the Netherlands, and yeah, let's try and move a little bit. No sign of the sea or anything. So, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to regenerate the map and uh, let's see if we start near the ocean this time. See you guys in a second. Georgia yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Only serve. Let's see. Well, we're at the sea now at least. Um, there's the ghost. No sign of any marshes though. That is a shame. Uh, well, let's plop the city down and see if there's any marshes near. Um, let's see. Go here and here. It's just tundra over here. Um, well, as the Netherlands, I really should show you some marshes. It's we need, we need polders, man. It's it's a Dutch heritage thing. It's like the one thing the Dutch do really good. Yeah. Okay. Trying again. Blah 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 blah. In 1584. Blah. Let's see. Where are we now? Um, there seems to be a marsh here with sugar on it, and there seems to be a coast here. This might be it. Uh, let's plop the city down. And let's have a little bit of a look around. Uh, not much more signs of marshes, but 
Well, there's one marshal over here at least. Yeah, there's multiple marshals in range of the city as well. I think we have a winner. Okay, um, oh, there's coast here. No, that's uh, yeah. Let's use this. Okay, so um, here we are in game, and uh, as you might have noticed by now, it's on a randomly generated map, and uh, we're in the game of civilization. And uh, yeah, I'll try and explain s a couple of things about it. I wonder though how experienced my my viewers are with civilization. There's, I know most of you are dwarf fortress fans, and maybe you have you're already a big civilization fan maybe you have never played a civilization before i have no idea how you what you guys like at the moment so uh tell me about that uh when uh yeah comment on that on the video and um especially would you like me to explain more about civilization and uh well let's try and give a little bit of a basics this video um so uh i started off i put the city down, uh, this is now the city of Amsterdam, my capital, which is of course the capital of the Netherlands, and um, let's try and build something. Now we have a couple of choices, and well, here's something I will learn from Quill18, who also makes uh, Civilization 5 Let's Plays and other stuff, is to always build a scout first, and uh, well, I think he's right on that. Ex scouting, exploring the world is very important. And as you can see, we can only see a little part now, and there's bonuses to be had if you, you scout a lot, so we're starting with a scout. And now we need to research something, and let me show you the technology tree. For those of you who don't know Civ, or who don't know this expansion yet, uh, this is this is Civ. <laughs> there's a giant technology yeah, list, <laughs> and uh, you have to go through them. You have to learn them all. Looks like part of the screen is being cut off at the top and the bottom here, that's a shame that's yeah because I changed the recording sizes to a more youtube friendly size of 1280 by 720 uh, anyway uh, forget that but we have this technology so we, we need to start researching something and we can choose what we start with, start with pottery start, uh, that which will give us a granary for more food for our people animal husbandry so we can find horses on the map archery so we can uh, well have a better military with archers or mining so we have yeah more production and uh, well let's see at our country what what do we have in our country there's wheat there's bananas and there's cotton not all that much there's no hills around uh, and there's sugar over here um, so I thinking yeah all these things the bananas the, the sugar and the cotton needs calendar so let's go for calendar. Uh, let's open the technology tree. Go past pottery here to calendar, and this is the tech you need. And uh, well, let's start with this. That seems like a fine start. And uh, that will be our first turn. Now uh, the computer will be placed, and you can see here there's a list of computer players, and they are all at four now. They all have nothing at the moment. That's because they haven't placed their cities yet. They'll do that now when I end this turn. Because yeah, this is a turn-based game, if you haven't figured that out yet. It's, uh, it's all turn-based, and you take your turn doing something with your civilization, and then the computer takes their turn, and, and so on, and you take your turn again, and whatever. And uh, yeah, you try to expand, you try to grow, you, and there's multiple things you can do. You can have try and, and go and be the most cultural country around, you can try and start a space race, and win that or win a diplomatic victory there is tons of things to do in the game war is like a, a very common part of that though and um, well let's see um, so there's multiple goals um, and yeah there's also lots of things to explore and to find on this randomly generated map and here is an ancient ruins or a village it's uh, where you can get a little bonus in the beginning and these are only in the beginning until the first person explores it and this ruins gives me an extra population the population grows the, sit the size of my city and um, I'll get into, into more that more of that later um, let's let's first let's explore some more and while we build our scout and as you can see while I'm taking turns these scouts are being built oh one second okay um, 
So yeah, the scout is being done there. Uh, it's not nearly done, and here we can scout some more. And let's try to do a little circle around our s yeah capital of Amsterdam and see if we can find more of these ruins. Um, next turn. These these early turns they go really fast. Um, let's see, the scout is done. We just should choose something else to produce. And uh, let's start with a monument. Monument increases culture. Culture is what you see over here. And every if you uh, you get so much culture every turn, and if you reach like 25 or something more than that, you'll get a little bonus. Your uh, social policy you, which you can choose, and we'll need that. It's a very nice thing of about Civilization 5. Um. Now you, let's go around, and there looks like there's plenty of marshes to go around, so we'll be able to create lots and lots of polders here. That's nice. Um, also, someone, in the, uh, somewhere, somewhere in the world, someone started a religion or a pantheon, which is like a starter religion. It's hard to explain. Also, it looks like there's tons of tons of sugar around in this part of the world. Uh, well, let's explain some more. <laughs> explain, explore some more. Um, not much else here. Let's go uh, all the way around. Uh, let's see, go here first, and then there, and hey, there's more ruins, nice. Uh, let's go here so we can walk farther, further. And, uh, oh, the monument's halfway done now, let's try pick this up. This gives me a culture boost, nice. This uh, is one of these Civ 5 things. Now, next turn, ooh, another ruin, another village, nice. Let's see, next turn. Go on, computer. John oh, the Clay said I to him that national tree. What made Yeah, <laughs> Bible quotes. Um, <laughs> just leave it at that. Um, so now, once I finish exploring here, also what's here? There's some barbarian encampments. Um, okay, so now I can finally choose a policy. This is a Civilization 5 thing. Uh, for those of you who've played older Civilization but haven't played this, yeah, if you reach uh, your culture, you get these bonuses and you can choose a couple of them. And uh, there's three branches I can choose at the moment tradition, liberty, honor. Tradition is great for having a small empire with lots of culture. Liberty is great for expansion. And honor is great for fighting. And um, in this turn, in this game, I'm going to go for liberty. I want to expand, I want to, s uh, to get a free worker and a free settler from this, and a free great person, which is also very good. So let's go and get liberty. So we'll be the... Yeah, the... <laughs> The libertarian people of the Netherlands, or whatever you call want to call that. Um, libertarian, I guess then. Um, also, yeah, the barbarian camps have been found. Barbarians are automatically spawned mm, enemies, basically. They're, uh, they are barbarians, and you can kill them, and when you kill their camps, you can get some money out of them. So it, it's a nice way to, to ex get some extra money. But they can be pretty tough, especially this part, this part of the game, since we only have very low-tech warriors. This is a Stone Age warrior, basically. Well, yeah, Stone Age, we're not even at the Bronze Age yet. And, uh, well, while that goes, hey, here Dios is Isabella. No, well, we will be a believer, but probably not your religion. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so, here is Isabella. Uh, yeah. And uh, as it said in the intro, the Dutch have had some problems with Spain in the past, and which is why I put her in. The other civilizations are random, and uh, well, let's see what she is at the list, by the way. Why can't I scroll this? Oh, she's in the top. So she's better than us at this moment, but uh, well, that might change in the future. And uh, well, I won't go to history lessons is uh, is a civ world and that's something from very long ago. Die Herzogin zu Österreich heißt eure Eminenz willkommen in Ach, bringen wir es hinter uns. Um vier wird gespeist. Ja, wohl. 
Um, <laughs> and uh, here is uh, another civilization who is apparently somewhere near me. This is uh, Maria Theresa of Austria, another European country. So it looks like we're going to have a very European-ish world, which makes sense since we're only playing on the Terra map. Um, yeah, I should note that as well. We're on a Terra map, which is sort of like a randomized Earth, and um, you start like at the Eurasia Africa continent, and there's a new world in the Americas to explore as well. Which we'll need to find the first, and we'll be able to get there first. You need better boats to get there, and it will be a long time before we can b make those boats. But it might be very smart to to rush to, to those boats, to those better boats, so you can cross the ocean and start settling in America. But uh, let's see if we do that. Then that will be a long a while from now, and we uh, way more videos from now on. Uh, and meanwhile, let's explore some more. Although. Maybe I should just leave the warrior here. Um, yeah, let's just leave the warrior to defend my country here. So, if, or if any barbarians decide to show up and be annoying. Um, oh, let's see, next turn. Oh, there's the uh, Austrian spearmen. Oh, let's leave those and let's try and circle around here again. Oh, there's a barbarian. Um, well, let's leave it that until next turn. We first have to choose production. We're done with the monument, which gives some extra culture, and now we can choose some more. Um, could build another scout, or maybe a shrine. Uh, or a granary. Granary would be nice, since the granary gets a bonus uh, for wheat, bananas, and deer. And I have one wheat and two bananas in range. Um... Hmm. No, I think I'd rather like a shrine first, though. Uh, so this is something new from the expansion: shrines and religions. Um, if you you're a normal Civ Five player, it's uh, really why you should get the expansion. Now you can start your own religions, and we'll be doing that uh, later on. And, well, let's see. We'll uh, hopefully we'll have some fun with that. Uh, now there's a barbarian here. Could try and kill it, but my scout. Scouts are net not very good at fighting though, although, although this barbarian is in a plains and we're on a hill. And we should have the advantage since we're, we have the high ground basically. Um, you know what? Let's try and attack him. See how it works out. Well, he <laughs> looks like I take more damage than him, but he also I think has less health. Maybe we can also try and send him to help. He should be here in a couple of turns. and. Yeah, the scout should be able to hold out. And uh, yeah, if we try, if we kill him, we get some experience, and our, our scout can get an upgrade, a promotion, and that would be nice. Maybe we'll be able, able, we'll be able to see further, and that's a nice thing. Um, leaving my city home here undefended, though, which is not very smart. Um, scout is almost dead. Oh. This will kill him if I do that. Um, we do have our promotion though. Okay, different plan. Um, we're going to run away. <laughs> to a place he shouldn't be able to hurt me, and that's there. Yeah. Now this guy should be able to kill him next turn. And the scout, well, let's just give him the visibility upgrade since he'll be able to see further, and that's very good for a scout. Um, next turn. Yeah, you scout, you you go home, you, you should heal. And you kill this barbarian. Nice. Barbarian killed. And we get our second policy. Nice. And now we can get a worker. Uh, we can choose from, from this two policies of liberty. I'm going to go for the worker. So we can start improving the tiles near our, near our capital. And, um... Well, now we should get into production and things like that too, but well, let's just leave that a little bit. Uh, first, let's go and create a farm. Always good to have extra uh, extra growth in your city. And uh, well, this will be nice. Um, down here, down there, it's fine. 
Okay, you scout, you go back home, so you can heal faster. You... Um... Well, you maybe should go attack that uh, barbarian encampment, but you should be healed. Although, nah, I probably shouldn't do that at this point in the game. So Although, teach us to number our days, so that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we should uh, stay safe in near our town for now, since we're... Yeah, we're skipping the military until later, which is fine in the beginning. Uh, now we're done with calendar, though. We need to research something else. And let's see, what shall we research? Um, well, there's not much else near. There's not much hills either. So mining isn't that important. Um, animal has been giving me very nice. Archery as well. Um, let's go with archery first. If I created some archers, then I can pelt like uh, barbarians from range, and that would be very good to have. And let's end the turn. Uh, you go into the city and heal. You go here, so you can see the barbarian encampment. You can probably heal there, that should be fine. You heal here, since you're almost completely full health that should be fine uh, also looks like my uh, shrine is done here so I'll be creating some faith from here and start a pantheon soon um, let's see what else should we build we could start with Stonehenge which is a world wonder which could give me even more faith and would be very very nice to have could also create one a warrior or another scout mm. I'd like to have at least um, maybe another scout, um, or start with Stonehenge already. It would be weird to have the Stonehenge in the Netherlands, but uh, well, that's civilization. You can build the world, world wonder wherever you want. You are, um, and if as long as you're the first building this world wonder, then you get the bonus, and the other guys can't get it anymore. You know what, how many turns until archery? Four turns until archery. Um, okay, uh, let's build an extra scout. Yeah. Let's build one extra scout. And then we can build an archer after that. And uh, we'll have a nice Espero little military. Que se trato reciba su bendición. Isabella here wants something new. This is also uh, from the Civilization expansion. She wants to pay me some gold to put an embassy in my city and embassy does not much an embassy um, maybe it sells like this this yeah, it allows you to see the location of the other players capital so basically she wants to pay me 21 gold so I'll uh, so she can see where my capital is and you know what I need the gold I need the money let's do this Muy and this is the first step in diplomacy uh, in this game and uh, hey it looks like we're staying in a European style. Here's uh, Baudica, or however you pronounce that of the Celts. Celts, that's Celts, I think. And uh, that's another civilization which probably is somewhere near here. Oh, there's her scout. Yeah. Um, okay, so in the meanwhile, let me have my worker do some more. Uh, yeah, how about you go and construct a plantation on the sugar so we can use the sugar um, and I was going to say something but I completely forgot so yeah let's forget that uh, oh yeah we're gonna have a very very European style with all these civilizations <laughs> it's, uh, Austria is uh, Spain and now the Celts which is is it Ireland I think or old England or you know what, <laughs> I should just forget about that and not mention it again. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so now things can happen. You are completely healed now. Also, the town here can attack something. Uh, well, let's do that first. Let's attack this scout, this warrior with barbarian which is trying to invade my country. And uh, let's move closer to here. 
Let's try and attack this barbarian encampment from the hill over here. So we'll have a bonus. So we'll have the high ground. And, uh, well, let's let him be. I could attack him with the scout now as well. I'm going to leave this scout for one turn and try and get its, uh, give it some more health. As you can see, it's full now. And now we have archery. Nice. Now we can use the city attack again. Uh, you can move here. And now the scout can help attack. It should give the scout even more experience. And archery is done. Um, now we should really find out there's horses near. Let's find research animal husbandry. And uh, well, that's this turn again. And this warrior is probably going for my scout. And the, the scout, um, my worker, my worker can upgrade these things, but he can't uh, defend himself. So if the, the brute makes it to the worker, I lose him, and I'll have to kill the uh, the brute to get him back. So that shouldn't happen. But I should be fine. He can't. He can only walk two tiles. He should be should not be able to reach here. And hey, now I have two scouts here. Uh, well, you're the one with the most experience. Try and kill him. Try and kill him. The other one should move first, I think. Yeah. You, the one with the most experience, kill him. Hopefully he'll get another level. I don't think he does. Uh, down here, let's attack this encampment. Hmm, seems close, but I should be able to win that in the long run. Uh, up here, the work is done. Um, well, let's send him to upgrade the sugar. Uh, this was the cotton, and this is sugar, of course. Yeah. Um, what else is there to do? I should choose a new production, and now I can start with an archer. Nice. Let's build an archer, so we can really take care of the barbarians from now on. Uh, you? Well, now you're completely hurt again. You should go heal. You're the new scout. Uh, how about you check these? countries to the north. Uh, he is uh, safe over here, but yeah. Um, okay, let's give you the defense, rough defense upgrade, and um, there's two of them here now. That's the problem these barbarian camps, they spawn barbarians to go and attack you, which is why I want to kill them. But um, yeah, he has a friend now, and two against one, well, I'll lose that. You know what, let's move Tile away, or maybe I should just stay here. Mm. Now let's move another tile away, um, like this. See what happens. You should just go here, okay? Another religion started, another pantheon. Um, now I'll need to have 20 faiths. So it's 12 more turns before I can start my own religion. Not having the most religious of builds here, but uh, that'll be fine. You. You know what, you heal. That'll work out. Um, you can't do this yet because you don't have the masonry upgrade yet. Okay. Um, well, let's build another farm then. This tile it could be better. It's better to create farms next to rivers, but yeah, I don't have a choice at the moment. So let's just build it there. And move on. And when is this archer done? I think I'll start trying with uh, building uh, either the Stonehenge or something else. Probably Stonehenge is the only thing I can build at the moment. Um, no, there's nothing much else here. Let's try and find out some more stuff. Another nice pen uh, peninsula over here. Small one. Bowser. That's animal husbandry, and hey, there's horses near. Nice. Horses and more bananas, that will be fine. Also, this scout is now fully healed. You should go and explore some more stuff. Um, animal husbandry done. Still don't have the hill in range yet, so I don't really need mining. Although, having uh, masonry so I can clear the marsh, so I can use the sugar here would be nice. But that can wait though. Um, you know what?
but I think I'd rather pick up writing at the moment. Yeah, I, if you have writing, you can start make a library, and with the library, you can make um, you can make more research. So researching all these stuff goes faster. I'm having seven research at the moment, but that'll, that'll grow in in the future. So all the research will go faster in the future, which is needed because yeah, most of the research, the the higher text cost more research points. Um, okay, we go here, and we have another policy. Nice. Uh, let's go with this one. Is more production in my city, and that's always good. More production means I can build things faster, so I can build this archer, yeah, faster. And I'll show that soon enough. Uh, when I'll show it when this farm is done. I'll talk about production and city options then. Ihr bewundert meinen neuen Damast. Soll keiner sagen, ich sei eine ungerechte Frau. Treffen wir eine Abmachung. Ja, um, Maria wants to have a declaration of friendships, that we're, that we're best of buddy, we're, that we're friends, and that uh, all should be fine at this state of the, uh, state of the game. It would make, make her friendly towards us. And you know what? Maybe we should have an embassy as well. Um, with her. Let's see if we can do that. We talk to her. Grüß Gott. No, we we need writing before we can ja. make an embassy. So, apparently, Isabella had a writing whole uh, whole lot earlier than I had. That's uh, that's something. Um, not well, I had probably had cal calendar before she had. Um, here's a city state, a friendly city state, an uh, a mercantile city state, which is an expansion thing as well. These guys uh, can give you new re resources like this jewelry, which is only found in these types of mercantile city states, and that gives you extra happiness. But let's leave happiness for now. Oh, I misclicked there, but that'll work out. Um, okay, worker, you are, you're done with the farm. Okay, um, let's see how close are we to getting the horses? Nine turns. You know what, I want the horses anyway, so let's move him there. And I'll probably buy the tile when I'm there. And uh, let's show you what the upgrades do. So here's the city of Amsterdam. And uh, like this you should be able to see things better. Um, now, you notice these tiles. These tiles were the same. This one is upgraded, this one isn't. And this upgraded tile gives two food. And uh, food is for the... F the, the growth of your city. The more food you have, the bigger it becomes, uh, the bigger the city is. Like with size 4, it is able to work 4 tiles, uh, 4 extra tiles. If it was size 5, it would be able to work 5 extra tiles. So the bigger the city is, the more you're able to use the tiles around you. And um, so that, that's if that's food, that's grows your cities. There's production, which is how fast you can produce things, how you fast I'm making this archer, how fast I'm making a building. I'm not having much production here. You, production is mainly, mainly found in the hills and, and forests like this. And I need some text to use that. But um, yeah, um, <laughs> I, if I had met port, port production, it would be very, very nice so I can make things faster. Uh, gold is how much money you make. But you see, this tile, this cotton, makes me a lot of money. and that uh, that helps pay for my army. Every every unit you you make costs money every turn to uphold. So you must get to make sure you have enough money. Uh, science is science. Some special times if uh, can have styles can have science. Uh, life is jungles. Jungles are very good for science. So when you have a university, but that's later in the game. Um, and yeah, the more science you have, the more your rate goes, and the, the faster you can explore things. Uh, faith is for religious things, for the, the expansion stuff, uh, starting your own religion. I only have one now from the shrine which I built. Wouldn't have any if I ha wouldn't have built that shrine. And uh, well that grows. And culture is also something you can find on the tile sometimes with special wonders and you can uh, do some upgrades so your tiles give extra culture. And you could see it here, but for now I only have a couple of culture, uh, two from the monument, one from the liberty I chose, and one basic. So, not much culture here. Yeah, three from buildings and one from policies. Three from buildings? 
Uh, there's also the palace here, which also gives an extra couple, gives a bit of culture. Um, so yeah, that's the cities, and I could change things here as well if I wanted to build this archer faster. I changed to production focus, so the game would focus on how I get more production, but there's not production much production here. There is some, I could cho also choose money, or science, or culture, or great persons, uh, faith. But uh, yeah, for now let's leave it on default, there are so much choices, but the g uh, default focus lets the game manage it itself. It's usually fine, um, especially for this turn. So that's a basic about the cities and how you grow them and yeah, and all the stuff you can get in them. Um, okay, now I'm done with uh, the archer. The archer can go help kill people here. And there's a cat going insane somewhere. <laughs> I think uh, Dubstep had a bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what's going on there. Um, and yeah, one of my cats is named Dubstep, the other cat is uh, Irma. But it seems like they're fine. She, uh, she's getting in heat again. <laughs> oh. um, okay, cats aside, let's go on with the game. And let's start building Stonehenge. It's, um, it's a nice wonder. And I hope I can still be the first to build it. I'm in pretty late with it and well let's do change to production focus that changes it uh, now it takes 26 turns and now it takes 23 turns which is still a long long time or maybe I should stay on default focus or food focus so in nine turns the city grows and has an extra tile yeah um it's only three turns of difference though Mm -mm. Well, let's uh, let's put it on production focus anyway. Let's see if we can raise the production somehow. Um, yeah, I need to build a lumber mill, but I don't have the technology to build a lumber mill yet. Uh, what also would be nice if I created a mine, but I don't. I think I have mining yet. No. So the only choice we have is these horses to upgrade and. Well, I can't do that yet since the horses are not in my country yet. And but I can fix that. I can buy a tile. Uh, normally, which is take eight turns, and I would get it free. Now I pay fifty, buy the tile, and next turn I'll be able to create something on it, which will well get me st more stuff, get me more production. You can use these horses for production. That's very nice. Uh, let's show you that as well. And uh, scout here while you go south. Here, if I yeah construct a pasture here, I'll get one production on this tile, and that will help. That uh, will help create the thing faster, the, the stone edge. Also, looks like Spain has already expanded. Here's Barcelona. God damn. Um, pretty good spot too. Oh well, let's let's leave that. Uh, you scout. You go here. I'll try go there at least. Uh, how are things down here? He's almost healed. Uh, scout here is fine. There's another city state. You are healed. You go back here. And now there's an archer near, but I have an archer near as well. And now we can try and kill that barbarian encampment. Uh, um. You. Oh, we need to kill that archer first since he's attacking me. Um, well, uh, that's a long way around. You know what? You focus on the barbarian encampment. That this will work out, I think. They should both live. And otherwise, I can uh, uh, let them flee and we'll survive. Um, you go there. Oh, and now there's another warrior. Also, warriors are very good against ranged units like this, so I really should take care. Um, okay, what can I do? Um, could move away, so I'm safe. Mm. Yeah, this is 
Well, I could move here and then shoot him. But he's an enforcer, not taking much damage, and can still attack me like this. Um, now let's go into the jungle. Now let's go here, so we're safe. You... You get another bonus, you could get another go bonus in rough terrain. Take this campant, which gets me 25 extra gold, nice. And uh, let's let him flee next turn if he survives. He should survive, I think. He yeah. Also, looks like my scout was there. Um, okay, let's attack this guy and let's help have the scout help. And you, you should really flee before you die. Or can you kill him? Mm. As you can see, he still has a gigantic bonus, but if I do this, he will, will surely be killed next turn. So I'm uh, going to have let this guy flee. You go here, darts and can't hit you anymore, dude. You're safe. Um, also, writing is done. Well, it's time we pick up mining then. Okay. Let's see how this turn ends. Um, it looks like I'm on a little bit of a peninsula over here. This should be one of those countries. Uh, Scout still lives. Um, you know what? You get a visibility upgrade as well, and you flee back to town. You kill that worker. Kill a barbarian. You... Um, go sit here and heal. Oh, and I can find my own religion now. I can found my religion. Uh, let's do that. Let's start something. Also, let's take a look at what you have. Lots of sugar, some cotton, bananas. Especially lots and lots of sugar. So, let's see here. And there, there's a lots of options we can choose from here. Um, so there's all kinds of religion, it's not like Civ 4 where like Judaism had a, a special bonus with extra gold and Christianity had extra happiness or something. In Civ 5 it's, you can choose your own own options, whatever you want, so you can completely fine tune your religion. And uh, it's very nice and well what should we start with? Uh, it's something, let's choose something which gives us a good bonus, so it would be very nice if there was one with sugar, but I don't think there is. Yeah, I have another game where I started with gold, and that was really, really nice, but I don't have any gold or silver near, so that's not going to work this game. Um, this would be nice, I have some jungle tiles near, which would give me extra culture if I chose that. Or this one, if I had quarries. There's stone over here, but it's too far away. Um, well there is lots and lots of jungle over here. If I build a second city, it will probably be here near the sugar. And there's still lots and lots of jungle over there. And marshes, jungle and marshes. Um, could also use some more money. Anything would give me more money would be nice. Also get, get, get some more culture from shrines. A lot more growth rate. Um, mm, 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 or more production. More science. I think... There's so much jungle tiles in here, we're going to give the bonus to jungle tiles. That's probably the best thing I can do. Yeah, there's also culture from plantations, which uh, every sugar and cotton and banana like this is, uh, turns into a plantation. But And I'll have a lot of those, but I think I'll have more jungle tiles than I'll have of these plantations. So, yeah. We're going to with Sacred Path. Plus one culture from jungle tiles. That's not very Dutch, but it's good for my build and whatever religion I have. So now we have our pantheon, our starter religion, and we can uh, grow that into a real religion. I have some information that may be what? of use. Shut up! I know about that. Now, um, the next time we should really save for a great profit so we can start our own religion. Um. Okay. And 12 turns away from the Stonehenge. And you know what? I'll end this video when Stonehenge is built, or when it's not built, when it's lost. Let's see if we can, uh, can fix that, so we'll have a, a very nice start. Oh, here's a boat, by the way. Barbarian boat, uh, Barbarian galley. It's, uh, yeah, steer clear of that.
And here's Edin Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Yeah. So, Bodica is the Scots, I think, then. If it's Edinburgh, it's uh, it's England. That's not Ireland, so, yeah. Celts are old Scots or something. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not that much of a history buff, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, leave it at that. <laughs> um, okay, you go heal, and uh, I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments anyway. Um... Okay, so now the horses here are done. Let's check our city, and yeah, it's working these tiles now, and now I have three production on this tile. Very, very nice. And I should improve some more. Um, what should I improve? I still can't do the marshes. Um, the bananas are still far away, and I need to be able to chop the jungle before I can use these bananas. So, the only thing I can make at the moment is, well, another farm. So let's do that, and let's make a farm next to this lake. So we'll have even more growth. Growth? Well, fine, we're going to have a big city of Amsterdam. You, you should heal. Uh, you, you should hurt some more barbarians, you archer. I think sending them here, next to Genoa, would be nice. Since, uh, these Genoa are probably pestered by these barbarians. Yes, they want me to kill the barbarians. So let's try and help them. Uh, that might give me a bonus. And uh, that make, that will make the people of Genoa very happy with me. And then they might give me something in return, like their jewelry. And that uh, makes my people even happier. But uh, everybody wins. Um, okay, ten turns and nine turns until the stone edge in the end of the video. Scout, you... Well, you go scout some more. You should go heal. And that was a very quick turn. And looks like we're going to have a couple of quick turns now. You... Well, I can't go past there, so you have to go here. And here is some gold. Would be nice to have a city near here, but... Yeah, this is too far away for me now. The meat. Now we have mining. Um, Amsterdam wants crab. Well, also, what is this archer doing here? Is the camp back or something? Hmm. Oh, that's the the old archer, which is still there. He's still alive. We just never killed him. <laughs> well, let's leave him. He's not that important. We we kill the camp anyway. Um, okay. So research time. Mining is done. Oh, I just clicked on something that wasn't what I meant to do. We should really go for masonry now, so I could clear that marsh. And after that, I should go for bronze working. No, I should go for construction, so I can carry it lumber mills. Okay, masonry first, then try go construction, then bronze working, then iron working. Oh, and pro tip: if you hold shift, you can queue these things. So that's what I'm doing. I, I clicked on masonry and then shift construction, and. Uh, Queuing is nice, so I don't have to look at this screen every time I research something. It's a pro civilization tip. Um, okay, that's enough for now. And looks like Nebuchadnezzar is around. Tabshima etemuata. Yeah. One of the first uh, city leaders in the history of humanity, I think. But, um,. He's probably far, far away, since we only met him now. Uh, you know what, you go here. And that was this turn already. Six turns until Stonehenge. Well, let's hope we get it. Um, let's see, the worker is done. would be very nice to create that hill. Um, do I have enough money to buy that tile? Just barely, and then I run out of money. Um, I do really want a hill, though. Um, but, I also use the money, and in six turns I will be able to create something here. But that's six turns too many. Um, but I could use the money. Choices, choices, choices. Um, okay, having a bit of a gold problem can be well, overcome will be fine, especially if I kill this barbarian camp, it's in a couple of turns. 
Um, hmm. Let's um, no, let's wait. I, I shouldn't waste the money right now. Let's just create another farm, and uh, that'll work out as well. Then we should maybe have more money. Probably not. Problem is that I have so many units at the moment. I have like four military units, and that's costing a lot of money. But if my city grows, then it should uh, pay itself. The, yeah, should have more cost to go around. Also, I should really check over here. Uh, you go kill this one. Um, next turn. Four turns left. Oh, and I'm thinking about something at the moment. I've been using no animations. I've been using quick combat, and uh, which is something a civiliz yeah, uh, something who, uh, someone who has played a lot of Civilization is used to. Normally, you have animations when you attack uh, enemies, when you attack people, and uh, I should really show that. So there's a settler of Austria. Um, is there something I where I can attack melee? Well, I can attack here. This should work fine as well. This is a jungle tile, which is a rough tile. So it shouldn't touch the mic as well. Let's show you the animations as well. Normally, so normally you do a click and it goes really fast. And uh, you can also turn it off, which is more stylish for the video. And like now, you actually see them attack. And um, well, this takes more time, of course, and um, what do you guys think about that? Would you would you like to see those animations? I never have them on, but uh, it's for something for new players and for the video probably look nicer at least. So, yeah, tell me that in this video. Uh, would you like to see these animations or wouldn't you? I'm going to turn them off for the rest of the video, <laughs> but uh, that's because it's my preferences. Preference whatever two turns and uh, so tell me about that and also tell me about do you want me to try and teach you more about civilization or do you all already know this game already it's uh, yeah what is your skill level of a civilization what is uh, your <laughs> oh wow uh, yeah thing in civilization and uh, I don't have a lot of money and Nebuchadnezzar he has a lot of money Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, whatever. I am very good English speaker. Um, okay, scout. Well, we're pretty much done in the top part of the world. You know what, scout? You go automatically. Yeah, or I could sell him, get some money back. And uh, now I'll live. Um, you go kill him, and we see this attacking goes way, way faster. Um, you... What are you doing here? Uh, why I am sending you this side? Uh, let's try and kill that archer. A lone archer over here. And... I should be done. Could you even hear that? It's just weird that this voice is so much softer than the other voices. Oh well. Uh, so now I have Stonehenge, which gives me five faiths and an engineer point. And engineer points are really, really nice. Uh, there's like great persons you can have as well, and these great persons they can um, do special things like build a world of wonder, like Stonehenge, in a one turn. You can do that with the great engineers. It's very, very nice to have. You should go here. <sighs> he was almost done, but now barbarian spawn and now we need to kill him first and uh, well I should really end the video as well this video has been long enough well, at least kill that archer nice um, so this will be the last turn next turn uh, we, we should think about a couple of things maybe yeah you could advise me as well I bet there are some advised civilization players 
what should we do next turn? Should we maybe try for the Great Library? Which is a very nice world wonder, which gives you a free technology. Or just build a granary to start growing, or uh, do some other things to make money, because, uh, yeah, I'm uh, in the minus core money. I need more money. So I'll probably, maybe we could use a granary to grow faster, so I could work more tiles, we could make more money from the, the sugar and from the cotton. Um, so yeah, choices, choices. But I'll leave that until next turn. I'll you know what, I'll turn it on to Coranary for now. And, um, well, let's end the episode here. So, that's the start of uh, my Civilization 5 Let's Play as the Netherlands. And <laughs> we're starting here in Amsterdam, in the jungle. With all the stuff, with uh, all the calendars and all the jungles. And, um, oh, uh, so what I want to know from you for one last time. Tell me... What is your level of skill with Civilization? Do you want me to tell you more about how you play this game? You want a tutorial of it? Or do you want to just have me play it and just make my own decisions and not try to explain every fucking little detail? Because you know them already. Or, uh, uh, yeah, so th that. Or, uh, no, and. <laughs> words, words. Um, and would you like to see the animations, yes or no? Um, I'm perf I'm against it, but uh, maybe you all want to see the animations, and I'll then I'll turn them on. Uh, and another thing, which religion should we start? I don't think I can show that yet. Um, no, there are no world religions that should be still. Lots of religions that can be started. Um, but um, yeah, there's a lot of icons you can choose from, and there's a cat going insane over here, that's, that's Irma. <laughs> you have to wait, Irma. Um, so, what religion should we start? Uh, and what should we name it? <laughs> you can, because you can name it yourself, and religion, well, I'll choose the bonuses, but you can choose the icon at least, since the icon isn't important at all. Should we start Christianity, or Buddhism, or Shintoism, or Judaism, or Islam, or whatever? Uh, you civilization players know which religions there are, I bet. And uh, which one should we start? So also com comment on that as well. And, uh, well, we'll see in the future where this uh, country goes. I uh, hope Amsterdam can get somewhere. And maybe one day we'll be able to wipe out the Spanish. Or maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just have a peaceful game. We'll see what happens in game. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's end the episode with that. Uh, let me hear what you guys think about it. And uh, I'll see, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.